Wow, you speak English. You surprised me. A little bit. Mmm. Hoy es un buen día para sonreír. <coughs> Otro. Just come. Stop being afraid. <coughs> Super fresh, baby. Don't worry about the pandillas. The gangs. Si tu puedes. Mm, no me gusta. And just come. The people are super nice and they treat you well. Mmm. And look at that. We have a bamboo man made ladder right down there. We Get it how you live, baby. Mucho sensitivo. Vaya. It's a busy Monday morning here in Ahuichapan, El Salvador. Currently, I'm on my way to the medical center right down this hill to the left. A little bit of confusion though, because I've asked multiple people and multiple people can't tell me exactly where to get a COVID test. Some people say go to the San Marcos Lavatorio down here to the left. And then some say right next to it, just go to Seclinsa. But they said a couple days ago that Seclinsa was around $25. But then my hotel, person said, no, don't go to Ciclinsa, go to the laboratory and you can get it, you can get your COVID test there. But then I went back to the cops that are at the vaccination spot right here at the beginning of Ruta de las Flores and another set of cops said, no, go to Ciclinsa and it's $35. And then it's like, if you go to the laboratory of San Marcos and now it's Japan, it's $40. So I'm like, what in the world? What am I supposed to do? So. What I'm gonna do is just go to both. I'm gonna first go to see Clinza, and then from there, um, if they're giving me trouble, then I'll go to San Marcos Laboratory. Cause either way, I know I'll get it done. My flight is later on tonight around six, so super early in the morning around 7.30. Let's go get this COVID test. All right. All right, so it says go ahead and take a left up the hill. This road here is 6A Calle Oriente. So this has a good amount of doctors and medical places here in this area. So here goes Centro Medico Ahuichapan. So I'll come here if I'm unable to get a good price at Ciclinza. So let's keep going forward. And this is right next to the Desta Samiento Military Number no. 7 in Awichapan. Lucha hasta vencer. A lot of things you never know that's in the cut. In the background. And here it goes, Seclisa. So right here is the Centro Clinico Hospitaliario SA de CV. This is I made it. A super, super small walk from my hotel, Atilo. So, let's go up in there and get this COVID test. I don't know where it's open. Let's see. Hola. Where's the, the puerto? Para. Aquí abajo. Okay, so my guy said it's over here. Seclisa. Para entrar? Saclisa. Saclisa. Sí, para para ¿A qué parte? Uh, uh, um, examen de COVID. Okay. Ahí farmacia lo cancela. Ahí sube aquella grada. Derecho? Ahí cancela. Ca ca cancela. Oh, this is two. It's just twenty dollars. Look at that. A freta prueba de antígeno COVID veinte dólares. Hmm. I like that price, baby. Okay, let's see. Hale, empuje, hale. Okay. Let me be quiet, I'm so loud. It's like a small medical center. Hey, if it's only $20, I'm about that price. I'm so about that price. 
Hola, doctor. Hola, hola. Gracias. Uh, um, hola, buenos sí. días. Uh, necesito um, un prueba de antígeno de COVID. Sí. Uh, so ¿20 dólares? Sí, está ahí en el laboratorio, se lo van a recibir. Oh, oh, ¿En el laboratorio? Sí. ¿Qué laboratorio? Sube la grada a mano derecha. So, sube la grada, that means go up the stairs. Yes. Derecha. Ok, I'm going give you the money. Prueba de COVID. I gotta get home, you know what I'm saying? How about singles? Um, so so. So so? Wow. <laughs> That's cool. What's your fun? Yes. <laughs> right. Except our tarjeta de crédito? Para los exámenes, no? No? No. Oh, man. Para medicina. Oh, okay. Vaya, vaya. So, they don't accept credit cards when it comes to the COVID tests, but they do accept it for medicine such as this. So, makes sense, I understand. I guess there's a reason for it, but it's all good. Muchas gracias. Okay. Bueno, que okay. Yeah, see, so, laboratory. Si. Okay, that was super easy to pay, so let's go up here. So, la grada. So, I just understood that now. This trip is what helped me understand that grada means stairs. I had no idea what grada meant, ever, so. And I think I probably learned that in Spanish class back in the early 2000s, but we'll see. But sometimes it takes us a while to put those words into practice. All right. All right, so let's keep going. All right. So I'm going into a super dark hall. There's no lights here. I don't know where I'm going. She just said, come here. I don't know. Let's see, we'll keep going. All right. Where am I? Let's see. Let's see. Favor, toque timbre. So, offer the cover for twenty dollars. Okay. I think laboratory. Okay, this is it right here. Okay, hola. So I made it, guys. I made it. I'm super happy. I don't know where I am. But I'm gonna witch up on, and I'm gonna get this COVID test. Oh yeah. Buenos días. Es Está aquí para examen de COVID. Antes sí, no. Sí. Ah, vaya. Necesito mis pasaportes. Sí, por favor. Vaya. Gracias. Niño, ¿dónde está la farmacia? Baje las gradas. Acá. Ah. Al lado derecho está la puerta de vidrio. Uh -huh. ¿En cu ¿Cuánto tiempo por, por la resolución? Unos 45. 45 minutos. minutos? Okay, uh -huh. so I have to kind of walk around. So I guess it's 45 minutes and we'll get the results. And then, um, regreso aquí para sí, los sí, resultados. Para el resultado. Okay, vaya. Porque les tomo los datos, lo voy a llevar al área de tomar de la prueba. Vaya, con muchas gracias. All right. So this process wasn't that hard. No, no más difícil. It's super fácil to get your COVID test here in Huichapan. So don't be worried. If I can do it with my menos menos español, you can do it too. Si tu puedes. Right. It's a church cathedral dentro. Wow, look at that. All right, so she's taking me to go into this peligro bajolólico spot. Okay, I'm going in, guys. Is, pe is peligro? Si? Sí? Okay, no. Okay, I'm just looking at the marca, the sign, you know? Okay, so here we go. Okay, so I'll just sit there right here. All right, guys. I hope she doesn't go deep in my nose because you really don't need to go that deep anymore. That was just in the beginning. So, oh my goodness, I hope I don't sneeze. I hope she brings me a tissue. Let's do this to the max. Do everything to the max. Which one? Qual? Manis. My nose.
tienes un papel. No me gusta. Sensitivo. <laughs> okay, I think I survived. Hopefully, she got enough. Sensitivo. Okay. Bye. Mucho sensitivo. Bye. All right, guys. Whoever said I was a baby is true. Lord help me. <coughs> oh. All right, let's wait this 45 minutes. All right, so we got the Al Qadia de Awachapan doing road work here in the area. So don't be afraid. They are making improvements out here in Awachapan. We have the military walking around with guns and vests. So I am in the middle where they have the sign for Santa Ana, Atikazaya, and Sonsonare, and Ataco. So that looks like a statue of Jesus, I think. I'm not sure, but either way. Um, I'm waiting 45 minutes for my COVID test. So I'm out here. I need some breakfast, I'm hungry. Now this is an interesting street going towards Takuba. But we're still here now with Japan. We have a lot of car fixing spots, motorcycle fixing spots, a tienda. Um, like I said, the government workers are already here. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. So they have snacks, who knows? We have a tienda, poquitos, anything you want. The Alcadia members, Alcadia. Vaya, vaya, oh yeah. <laughs> yes, oh yeah. <laughs> yes. So we got uh, sports clothes if you want it. Okay. Servicios. This is it. On the way to Takuba, that area. Propane tank people, they, they block off this whole spot. Not a lot going on here in this area, but it does have a beautiful mountain range right there in the distance. Super beautiful. All right, we got a bodega de la ceramica. So, once again, this is just a walk through of Japan City. I'm walking in the middle of the road like it's nothing. Watch out for them two toes over here. That's a healthy dog. Look at that big old dog. That's a, that's a bulldog. Healthy. All right, one with the leash, one without. <laughs> I don't even know if that's his dog. He's just tagging along. <laughs> so a lot of like automotive fixing things here. You got clutch fixing, things like that. Frenos, torno. I guess that's engine turbine, I don't know. A lot of judiciary offices up there, attorneys in this area. They even have a hotel back here. We have the Hotel Kakina, Kankan. Hotel Kankan. Hola, buenos dias. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. All right, let's see what else we got going on here. All right, ooh, look at that. We have the cops down there in formation. They're getting their daily duties of what to do for the day. This is a Monday right now. Look at that. They do that in the middle of the street. You see, it's super important to have police presence here in El Salvador. You gotta let the people know that they're not out here to play. They're out here to keep people safe, to do their jobs, to go home to their families. All right, look at this street up there. Beautiful gradas up there. All right. Look at that, good formation. All right, so let's keep walking. All right, and then you got clinics here, dental clinics. One thing I noticed is that they have so many of these clinics and things here, but a lot of these things are just not open. I don't know what's going on. It's Monday morning and it's eight o'clock, so why are these offices and things not open? Who knows? Hola, buenos dias. To Joe in El Salvador. And we got here, smoothies, pollo per peruano. So they have pollo from Peru. 
Oh, you have comida aquí? Yes. Ahorita? Sí. All right. Desayuno? Sí. Okay. Desayuno. All right. All right, and they definitely have desayuno tradicional. That seems like it would be a reasonable price because looking at the prices over here, the peruana stuff, they have things that maybe a little bit more for price range. ¿Cuánto por desayuno tradicional de Salvador? Tradicional. Tradicional, right. 350. What? What? Tiene carne dentro. No, es huevo. Huevo tocino. Tocino. Sí. Plátano. Crema y polvo. Okay. Okay. I'll get that. Café o jugo. Oh, it comes with it. Okay. Orange juice. Okay. Okay. Gracias. We have all this. Oh, the sea. Yes. Okay. Wow, you speak English. You surprised me. A little bit. A little. You you good. That's a lot. You surprised me, bro. All right. See, people speak English in El Salvador. He's taking me. I guess there's a vista. One section or more over. Oh, even like even the, more. Yes. Okay, let's go you to the vista. See, uh, other city. Oh, other la, city. la vista. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Mirador. Sí. Hola, señor. Buenos días. Yes. Vaya, vaya. Let's go, go up these stairs there. Oh, yeah. Got a bunch of sombrero. Wait. Oh, look at that beautiful mural. Deli fruits. Deli fruits. All right. Look at that beautiful corazón. Oh, wow. Ooh, hot dog. All right. I see super nice people. We're the only, I'm the only one here, but it's okay. Nice murals. Hoy es un buen día para sonreír. And the different things you can purchase. Hershey's, Caramelo, Chia, Chianosis. Yeah, look at that. Deli fruits. All right. Let's take a look at the view. You see a Pollo Campero right there in the distance. The cathedral. Nice view. And there goes our guy down there doing some, some weeding. See? Look at that. There's always something to do here in El Salvador. And look at that, we have a bamboo man-made ladder right down there. We have iron bars connected by a string to two bamboos that are parallel to each other. Super easy. See, you don't need to buy anything if you have bamboo, rebar, and rope. Get it how you live, baby. I like that. And super ingenious. Super, super, super. And look at those fruits down there. Never seen those. This looks like figs. I think that's a fig tree. What do you think, guys? Do you think that's a fig tree? Look at that. All right, guys, already, guys, I'm having a wonderful day here in El Salvador, at Wichapong. This is my last day in the city, and I will take in the view as much as I can. All right, so, all right, so he brought me the orange juice. Ay, muchas gracias, señor. All right. Where are you going? I'm going to San Salvador. San Salvador? Yes. <laughs> Send, yeah. Take me. Oh, take you? You want to go? <laughs> Where are you from? Ah, Aguachapan City, San Salvador. Oh, wait, you, you're you from Aguachapan? Yes, Aguachapan City. But you used to live in San Salvador too? Ah, uh, no, uh, the capital San Salvador. Eh? Oh, okay. The country. The country? The country oh, El Salvador. Salvador. Okay, right, right. right. Yeah, okay. Gracias. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the capital is where many people want to go. <laughs> Look at that. Enjoy. Gracias. So this is a traditional, typical desayuno de El Salvador. Yes. Vaya. Okay, gracias. All right, so I see we have some hot dog ham in there. We got some, let's see, we have some wonderfully made fresh, fresh eggs. We have some frijoles, and this is a uh, chip, tortilla chip. And we have some tocino. And also, we also have platanos. All right, guys, dig in, dig in, nikitaki mas. All right. Oh, wait, you also have some bread for me, too. Gracias. Look at that, and some nice fresh toasted bread. Oh, yeah, let's do this. All right, guys, overall, I've had a great time here in El Salvador. It's been a very good trip. I went to the west side. 
a side that I usually never thought I'd be on. I'm not sure why, but one of the things I noticed that super, super amount of people kept saying, go to Aguachapan, go to this side, go to Rutas de las Flores. And I never really thought about it. And this trip, I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Overall, you know, I was supposed to be in Nicaragua. I was supposed to be in Granada, Masaya, all those different places. So that was going to be the majority of the trip. And this trip was just essentially going to be one lugar, just one. But I made it into a three, four place trip. And I can say I had a wonderful time. Mmm. Super fresh, baby. Super fresh. So, usually people ask me which one is my favorite city. Yes, I had a great time in Corinto, but I could say any of the cities can be your favorite city as well if you just come. Stop being afraid. Don't worry about the pandillas, the gangs, and just come. The people are super nice, and they treat you well. Mmm. Yum. Yum, yum. Delicioso. Mmm. So, in the end, I'll remember this time as a super calm trip. And I just encourage you to come. That's it. Where will I go next time? Most likely the airport. Because I'll be transiting to other countries. And usually, Valaris United usually go through El Salvador first to transit to other spots. So, that's where I'll be. All right, guys. Any comments, go ahead and leave it down below. If you want to see more foods that I rated and gave a wonderful review on, click the link right above my head. All right, just click that, and then you'll know. All right, so anything else, just leave any comments, any other requests that you have, leave it in the comment section, and let's see if I can fulfill it one day in the future. Have a blessed day. Mmm, bread.